Hey guys, Modeling Weekly here. This week I'll be bringing you a shorter than usual video, though I promise it will be worth the watch nonetheless. I'll be presenting three brilliant and easy techniques that you can use to mask your aircraft canopies. We all know how frustrating this step can be, and sometimes it's just not worth it to fork out another £5 on a pre-cut masks set. Let's dive into the video. Before we get into any techniques, it's important to remove any grease from the canopy parts using either IPA or soapy water and a cotton bud. Avoid using paper towels as these can make small scratches in the plastic. Once your canopy is all cleaned up, we can get to work. Time for the three techniques. The first method I'll be showing you today is sort of more like two morphed into one. I call it the cut on surface and graphite methods. Here's how they work in respective order. It's important that before you do any masking or cutting, you load on a new scalpel blade fresh from the packet. This will allow you to minimise any possible damage to the clear parts. To start off with the cut on surface technique, lay a piece of masking tape over the clear part as shown on the video. If your canopy is convex, like my Mustang example on video, you may need to apply the pieces of tape in separate pieces to handle the shape. However, if you are masking a flat surface, this isn't an issue. Next, using a toothpick or another blunt yet pointed object, clearly define the edges of the panel you need to mask by following the raised strut detail. It may take a few passes to make it defined enough, though in the end you should have enough of a line to accurately follow with your scalpel blade. When it comes to cutting, you need to be very careful to avoid marking the plastic underneath. As you are using a fresh blade, there is no need to press hard. Just use the weight of the scalpel to cut through the tape. Once you have cut out the shape you need, it's simply a case of removing the excess with tweezers or your fingers. What is worth noting about this technique and the graphite method though is that you cannot use them to mask the inside of the canopy, as there is no raised detail to follow. For a lot of you this is no biggie, though for those of you who want to do this, stay tuned for my second method. Let's now have a look at the graphite method, an alternative way of doing my cut on surface technique. After using the toothpick to define the edges, find yourself a soft pencil or a graphite stick of some kind. Then gently shade the areas of masking tape that are overlapping the struts. This will create an unshaded line exactly where you need to cut the tape. Now, remove the masking tape from the canopy and lay it down on some sort of cutting surface. Using a scalpel, follow the unshaded line that was created on the masking tape. If you follow it exactly, the piece of masking tape will fit perfectly onto the canopy glass. The benefit of doing this over the cut on surface method is that you avoid the risk of damaging the plastic and also it's easier to handle any curves with your scalpel when they are sitting on a flat cutting mat. The second method I'll be demonstrating is what I call the thin strip method. For this you need to use a ruler to cut very thin, straight strips of masking tape on a cutting mat or another flat surface. For masking straight edges, these strips can be a little thicker, though to handle the extremes of curved edges, you need to cut them very thin, and I mean very thin. Now that you have your strips cut out and ready, you can cut them into smaller lengths if you wish. Do keep them long enough to mask an entire length of canopy though, as using multiple pieces to mask a straight edge can lead to leakage, especially if you are brush painting. Now line the strips up flush with the edge of the strut. This is the edge that will create a crisp paint job, so do this very carefully. Once they're all lined up, you can use a scalpel to trim the strips that are overlapping the canopy struts at the edges. When it comes to applying the thinnest strips to the curved areas, you need to apply them very slowly and carefully, being careful to follow the curve precisely. Given the small scale of the strips, pointed tweezers are ideal and almost essential for accurate placement. Once you've completed the masking job with the thin tape strips, it's time to fill in the middle where the canopy is still exposed. For this, liquid mask is ideal as it's easy to remove and leaves no residue or stickiness on the canopy. However, I don't currently have any so I simply used more 4mm masking tape cut to size to fill in the gaps. Now let's have a look at the third and final technique for this video, the triangle technique. This is a brilliant way of reliably masking straight edges without the need to cut any strips to length or cutting anything on the surface of the canopy. The only downside to this technique is that you need to employ a Nothoth method for the curves, be it the cut on surface, graphite or the thin strip technique. 
To get started with this technique, you first need to cut strips of masking tape on a cutting mat so that they have a thickness of roughly 3 to 4 millimeters. However, this depends solely on the size of your canopy, and smaller 70 second scale canopies may require thinner strips for thinner triangles. Now, once you've cut out your strips, it's time to cut out a row of triangular pieces with a series of angled cuts as shown on screen. These don't have to be perfect equilateral triangles, though it helps if they all have sharp pointed corners to increase masking accuracy. Using tweezers, you can now pick up your triangles one by one and apply them onto the canopy. For flat edges, simply line up a straight edge of the triangle flush with the struts, and for the corners, do the same as for the flat edges, except you must make the corner of the triangle sit exactly in the corner where the strut changes direction. Continue doing this until you have fully masked the canopy, leaving only a gap in the middle that can easily be filled with masking fluid or simply more pieces of masking tape. Well, that's all the techniques covered. When it comes to painting your canopy, make sure that the first paint colour is the interior colour, as this is what will show through from the inside. If you are masking and painting the inside of the canopy as well, still paint the outside with the interior colour as well. This will override any translucency problems with the paint, giving a professional finish. In my personal opinion, it's best to remove the masking tape as soon as you can after painting. This is especially important for those of you who paint with a brush. The reason for this is that if you leave the paint to properly harden whilst overlaid on the tape, there is a chance that it could be ripped off when you try to remove the mask. And that's all I have for you for this week. I really hope you found the video helpful and that it has improved your knowledge in some way or another. If you did in fact find it helpful, don't forget to drop a like as this will help us reach more people in the future. If you didn't find it helpful, as always leave a dislike and explain why down below. That's it for today and I hope to see you all next week. Bye!